Hi, today I'd like to show you a very cool method for writing melodic quatrains. I call it the encapsulator because what it consists of is you write one short phrase in the beginning, one short phrase at the end, and in between you sandwich two bars that are more densely populated with syllables. And just to tell you right off the bat, this video is sponsored by Guru. More about them later. So as a diagram, the blueprint would look like this. Sparse bar, dense bar, dense bar sparse bar, right? This method makes for a nice melodic experience as the listener is first introduced to a simple phrase that gets their attention. Then you write two dance bars in which you can write strong content in the form of punchlines. That gives them the signal that your lyrics as well as the melody is potent and needs their attention. After all, you finish with another short phrase which eases up the quatrain and their attention with it. So remember, all the song is, is playing with someone's attention through melody and words for 3 minutes, that's it. Therefore, the encapsulator in terms of attention would look like this. It's good if your lyrics have peaks and valleys because if they don't, and you employ only dance punchlines or only repetitive melody, people tire faster. Let's do an example. I'll do something very simple so you can see the method's application as clearly as possible. I have this beat by Wavy Beats. Here's a quatrain. Hey, this shit way I want to write something about fear and overcoming it, so basically we can think of phrases that revolve around this sentiment, after which we can reorder them and make them fit the beat. There are two ways to write, from a scat, which is a pre-created melody working as a skeleton for your lyrics, or you freestyle the melody depending on the composition of the phrase. I'll use the second method for this example. So first we have the short phrase, which has to revolve around overcoming fear. I can say, I'm done with you. Now I can make it even shorter and change it to, I defy you. Okay, next I have to make it fit with the melody. I'll look at each word, I defy you. And now I'll try to say it with a melody. I defy you, I defy you, I defy you, I defy you, I defy you. Okay, I think I think that's it. I defy you. All right, now let's record it, and it will look like this. Hey, this is way I defy you. Now the second bar. When you think of your next bar, first think about if I was speaking, what would I say next? If it was a regular monologue with yourself, like what would you say? I would say I defy you, even if I'm scared to do so. Okay, now having this continuation, we can play with the syllables and figure out a way to make it work with the beat. I can change scared to terrified and remove do and so. What we're left with is even if I'm terrified too. Now we can make a melody that works with the previous bar, something simple like changing the note of the last syllable. Recording it, it would sound like this. Even if I'm terrified too. Now it's time for the next dance bar. Before that, and here's more about Rhymecraft. It's an app that helps you write better rap lyrics. Hear more about it from Nathan. He's the creator of it. Hi, my name is Nathan, and I am the creator of Rhymecraft, which is a web app you can find at www.rhymecraft.guru. Uh, the idea for Rhymecraft is to be a web app that will help you write professional quality rap lyrics, like as good as you know, Biggie or Tupac or Eminem, any of them could write. It'll help you write that as well. Um, the I want it to be as sophisticated as the digital audio workstations that producers use to produce the accompaniment to the rap songs. So programs like Fruity Loops or Cubase make very good music, but you cannot use them to write lyrics. So that's the idea, create the lyrics equivalent to those programs. Um, I want the app to do two main things. The first thing is that it should lead you step by step through every part of writing a song and all the decisions that you need to make to write a very good rap song. Uh, the second thing that I want it to do is I want it to track the decisions that you've made and let you know when you have made a decision that might conflict with some of your choices or some of your goals for the song. So for example, if you want the rap song to sound very good, but your timing of your lyrics is not to the beat, then the application should warn you that, hey, this is probably not going to sound good when people perform it. 
Uh, the app is not finished. It's not even close to finished. It is partially finished. You can play around with it now if you go to the website. Again, that's rhymecraft.guru. Um, but the issue I'm having is, is, is staying motivated to work on it when you know nobody's really using it, nobody really knows about it, and uh, nobody's kind of like you know helping me to stay motivated. So that's why I'm trying to find people who will join me on Twitch when I'm working on it and just kind of keep me company, keep me motivated through the headaches that are involved in getting this thing done. I think if people are actually using it and playing around with it, it'll be a lot easier for me to stay motivated to work on it. So please consider following uh, or my Twitch channel for Rhymecraft. It's its own specific Twitch channel for the Rhymecraft website. Uh, and please consider uh, joining me when I'm working on it, which should be probably uh, evenings late late evenings or nighttime eastern time um, although that could vary so thank you very much okay back to it continuing our monologue i can say i defy you even if i'm terrified too you thought you hurt me forever but you didn't okay now the second part of this sentence is very long so i'll use it for the remainder of the quatrain uh, you thought you hurt me forever now i want to rhyme it with the previous bar so let's find a compatible rhyme word you Two. What about tattoo? It has a forever quality and rhymes with the previous rhymes. So now we have to rephrase that sentence so it ends on the word tattoo. We can say, you thought you scarred my mind with a tattoo instead of you thought you hurt me forever. Okay, now we have to rephrase it so it fits the beat. We can remove you thought you and start with scarred. Then before tattoos, add forever so we fill up the bar and we get something like Scarred up my mind with forever tattoos. This would sound like that. Scarred up my mind with forever tattoos. Tattoo. We'll finish off this quatrain with a short phrase. In our sentence, it is, but you didn't. Now here's the trick. If you write a totally different melody, you can get away with not rhyming that bar with anything else and it will still sound good. So I can just change it to, or so you thought and completely change the melody and it will sound like this now in order to make the quatrain fill up all the space I'll add ad-libs and something very simple just repeat the rhyme word of each bar so in this case it will be you two tattoos I will miss the last bar because it has a totally different melody um, and also will have a bit of variety now here's how the whole thing sounds mm. That was it. Now the next video I'll make will be about argument structure and will only be posted as an update to the premium library. Head over there if you want to watch it when I post it later this week. Uh, the library contains 38 more videos like this. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Hope I helped.